Snass drunk. Like many other Game Boy Advance games, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival is essentially a retooled port of a Super Nintendo game, and in this case a very good one. Now, right away, I think I can guess what you're thinking. How can a one-on-one -on -one fighting game be any good on a portable system with only four buttons? And yeah, that is a bit of a hindrance, but this game does allow you to customize which button to use for whatever punch or kick at whatever level. You can even combine buttons if you'd like, or you could use pressure-sensitive input, so it works out well. Interestingly enough, there's also an easy special moves option. You can enable, presumably because it was pretty tough to pull off some moves on the smaller Game Boy Advance D-pad. This option allows for a Hadouken, for example, to just be pressing forward and a punch button. That's not as big of a deal now since you can play this stuff on the Retron 5 or through emulation, but if you are playing it on the Game Boy Advance, it's nice to have that option if you need it. The gameplay is just about exactly as you'd expect. I mean, it basically is Super Street Fighter 2 for Super Nintendo in addition to some new bells and whistles from the Super Turbo Arcade version. The menu is redone, and there's a lot of new pixel art here too. It compares to how Capcom ported Final Fight from the SNES to Game Boy Advance, essentially the same game but with bonus material so to speak. For example, the sprites and animations here look to be ripped directly from the SNES game, but techniques and attacks like this are obviously from the Super Turbo Arcade game. There is some stuff unique to just this game, like the backgrounds for a few characters' stages like Ryu, Guile, and M. Bison are all brand new, and I don't think they're used in any other Street Fighter game. Perhaps best of all though is the addition of Akuma as an unlockable character character after you reach 5,000 points. You can also play as Shin Akuma after 9,999 points. But yeah, there's 16 fighters to choose from, all the original characters plus the four originally introduced in Super Street Fighter. There's lots of game modes here too, like a survival mode, time attack, a multiplayer versus mode of course, a training mode, and four different speeds all the way up to three star turbo. There are a couple flaws here, most notably is the music. It just doesn't sound good. I guess you can explain that away due to technical limitations, but yeah, it's bad. There's also some occasional slowdown here, usually from the special attacks. It can be frustrating, but it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, not much else to say here. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival doesn't have much to offer in the way of originality, but it is a very good port remake mishmash of both the SNES version of Street Fighter 2 Turbo and the Super Turbo Arcade Edition. It's held steady at an average of $14 on eBay over the years, so if you want a portable one-on-one -on -one fighting game for Game Boy Advance, don't be scared off by the fact that you only have four buttons to use. This game is pretty solid, and you're not going to find much better than Turbo Revival. 